prepare to do the prayer tonight if uh, Pastor Miller doesn't show up. There's a dozen in it. What? Prayer. I'd like to call a City of Muskegon City Commission meeting for March 13, 2012 to order. To welcome everyone. I'm going to have uh, Vice Mayor Gowern, if he would, say a short prayer for us to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. I'm not asking for anything tonight, Lord. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for another day to get out to your world and your creation and to be with other people. I want to thank you for the sunshine in the early spring and the hope that comes with another new season of rain, and green, and new growth. So just thanks today, Lord, because you always end up asking for a lot and often is not, not giving much in return. So thanks, Lord. Thanks for another beautiful day. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Appreciate it very much. Roll call, please. Commissioner Spataro? Here. Commissioner Gal German? Here. Vice Mayor Galwin? Here. Commissioner Waringo? Here. Commissioner Turnquest? Here. Mayor Warmington? Here. Commissioner Hood? Here. Thank you. May we have the consent agenda read, please? Approval of minutes, City Clerk, summary request to approve minutes of the February 28th City Commission meeting. Staff recommendation, approval of the minutes. National Bike to Work Week Proclamation, City Clerk, summary request. The City Commission is asked to adopt the proclamation supporting National Bike to Work Week, May 14th through May 18th, 2012. Staff recommendation to approve the proclamation. Approval of amendment to Norton Shores CDBG contract with the City of Muskegon Community and Neighborhood Services. Summary request to approve the amendment to the contract for City of Norton Shores two-year agreement with the City of Muskegon for CDBG administration. After an environment review audit by HUD, HUD has requested the agreement between the City of Norton Shores and the City of Muskegon be amended to include compliance with National Environmental Policy Act of 1969 and Part 58 for the Environmental Certification Compliance Forms. Staff recommendation to approve the amendment to the contract by the City of Norton Shores for the two-year agreement with the City of Muskegon for CDBG administration to include compliance with NEPA and Part 58 for the Environmental Certification and Compliance Forms. Committee recommendation, the Norton Shore City Council approved the amendment at their February 21st meeting. Lakeshore Trails Improvement Fund Agreement Finance, summary request. The Lakeshore Trails Improvement Fund was established as a small grow -a fund entity at the Community <coughs> Foundation several years ago using taxpayer-designated income tax refunds to, as seed money. The fund has now grown to a level over $10,000 at which it qualifies to be managed and invested as a full-fledged endowment fund by the foundation. The organization endowment fund agreement allows this transition, transition to take place. The agreement has been reviewed by staff and the city attorney. Staff recommendation, authorization for the mayor to sign the agreement. Water filtration plant, east clarifi clarifier, solids, pump replacement, public works, summary request. Authorize staff to purchase a Gorman Rupp solid pump from the lowest responsible bidders, Dubois Cooper Associates Incorporated, and contract with Allied Mechanical Services Incorporated to install for a total cost of $12,410. Staff recommendation, authorize staff to purchase a Gorman Rupp solids pump for the water filtration plant East Clarifier Sump from Dubois Cooper Associates Incorporated for $8,010 and turn to a contract with Allied Mechanical to install the Gorman Rupp Solids Pump and removed old pump for a cost of $4,400. <coughs> Solid Waste Proposal Public Works Summary Request Authorize staff to begin negotiation with Republic Services Allied Waste on a contract extension. Republic Services submitted the letter proposing an extension to our current solid waste contract which is slated to expire at the end of 2012. Staff's recommendation will be brought back to you for consideration at a later date. 
staff recommendation, authorize staff to negotiate with Republic Services a possible contract extension. City MDOT agreement for milling and resurfacing of M120 Causeway Engineering summary request to approve the contract with MDOT for the milling and resurfacing of M120 Causeway from US 31 business route to northerly city limits and to approve the resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to sign the contracts. Staff recommendation, approve the resolution, authorize the mayor and clerk to sign the contract as well as authorize staff to incorporate this project into the 2012-2013 budget. Thank you. Commissioners, you've heard the consent agenda read. Are there any items you'd like to have removed for further discussion? Vice Mayor Gowan. I would move that we approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Gowan, supported by Commissioner Waring. Go to approve the consent agenda as read. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner German? Yes. Vice Mayor Gowan? Yes. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Commissioner Turnquest? Yes. Mayor Warmington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Commissioner Spataro? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Public hearings, item A, please. Recommendation for annual renewal of liquor licenses, city clerk, summary request to adopt a resolution recommending non-renewal of those liquor license establishments who are in violation of section 50-146 and 50-147 of the code of ordinances for the city of Muskegon. These establishments have been found to be in non-compliance with the city code of ordinances and renewal of their liquor licenses should not be recommended by the city commission. If any of these establishments come into compliance by March 22, 2012, they will be removed from this resolution and recommendation for the renewal will be forwarded to the Liquor Control Commission. Staff recommendation, adoption of the resolution. Thank you. Any questions of staff? Is there anyone in the audience that would care to address this item? Please step forward, give your name and address, please. Jen Osborne. Um, my address is 3125 Tool Street, Northwest Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, CJ's on the beach. And I've just become aware of the um, noncompliance and I'm working on getting receipts of some of the items that I believe have been paid and aren't recorded. And we'll get everything straightened out. I've talked with Ken and we'll get things straight. And just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay. All right, well, according to this, you have till the 22nd of March. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Just like Is there anyone else that would care to address this item? Mr. Spitar. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we uh, close the uh, public hearing and we adopt the attached resolution. Second. It's been moved. It's been moved by Commissioner Spitaro, supported by Vice Mayor Gowran, to close the public hearing and to approve the recommendation for the annual renewal of liquor licenses. Mr. Mazzei. Um, I didn't know the motion was going to include both items at one time, otherwise I would have asked uh, to say something sooner. But I, if you um, would uh, indulge my uh, request, I would uh, like the City Commission to consider removing the Shoreline Inn 750 Terrace Point um, the reason why they are on this um, list is that it, it indicates that they owe money to the city of Muskegon, and uh, it is something that uh, is a bit of a misunderstanding and uh, maybe a miscommunication. Um, we have made appropriate arrangements for them to pay um, the monies owed the city of Muskegon. Um, but we would uh, request that you not hold up their liquor license in order for them to uh, um, satisfy that requirement. Commissioner Spitaro. I would uh, amend my motion to remove uh, Shoreline Inn and Suites from the list of non-compliant liquor license holders. Vice Mayor. And I would uh, go ahead and second that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The uh, Motion then by Commissioner Spataro, supported by Vice Mayor Gowern, is to approve the resolution for the recommendation for annual renewal of liquor licenses as presented to the Commission, less Shoreline Inn. And to close the public hearing. And to close the public hearing. Well, I, I asked this another thing. Okay. 
come forward. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Malachi Williams. Address is 312 Erickson, Muskegon, Michigan. Um, a proprietor of Dreamers Bar, and I see that I have a deficit of about um, maybe about 1500 And last week I uh, brought into the tax uh, $500. So what I'm going to try to do before the 22nd of uh, March is to make sure I have those funds paid in full. So I just wanted the, the board to know that information. Okay. He also has some real property taxes that I confirmed with the county that he has a payment plan with them um, to pay those off. So uh, he he's currently in good standing with the county to pay his delinquent real taxes. Okay. And uh, I don't know, when are you going to pay the, the personal with the city? Oh, probably before the 22nd. Okay, so if he pays the personal before the... 22nd, I would take him off the list. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Williams. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Vice Mayor Galran? Yes. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Commissioner Turnquest? Yes. Mayor Warmington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Commissioner Spitaro? Yes. Commissioner German? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Is there any other business, Commissioners? Commissioner Spitaro. Yeah, uh, a couple, couple of quick items. One, uh, at the last meeting, or maybe it was a meeting before, I mentioned my frustration with the street lighting. Um, and I mentioned specifically there's a stretch on Jefferson uh, between Clay and Apple where most of the street lights were out that did get repaired and worked fine for three days. And now they're back to not working again. So, Apparently, the private sector is struggling a little bit to fulfill their obligations. Um, so the other item is I'm getting some <coughs> reports of uh, vandalism issues at Heritage Landing. So um, hopefully we can maybe make sure we have a couple extra cruisers through there over the course of the week. Okay. Thank you. Did you want to respond to that one? Yeah, yeah, just the street lights, the Jefferson section, we are aware of them that, that they're out. There's a bunch of, they fixed them at the beginning and they, they found out that there's underground problems and they made us aware and they are working on uh, working on them uh, as we as we speak. And, and we are getting uh, credits for the lights being out? As of right now, the number is about 86 some thousand dollars uh, proposed credit. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Any other business commissioners? You said we just uh, let the public know that may not uh, Nixel is uh, Chief Lewis here. Yeah. Yeah. Is it called Nixel? Yes, Nixel. Nixel. Okay. Well, there was an announcement that went out Nixel for those of you in the community uh, that have Nixel. In fact, Chief, if I could get you to come up here, so maybe the people that are watching TV, to explain to them what Nixel is and and how they can sign up for it, but. Uh, I received a message today from the City of Muskegon Police Department on Nixle. Also, I think the Chronicle is either has or is going to write something to let the citizens know that effective at 12.01 a.m. Uh, this Saturday morning, March 17th, uh, we are going to rescind the off-street parking rules and regulations so that you can park on the streets at that point in time and uh, you will not be allowed to park on the terraces. Good evening. Approximately three weeks ago, the Public Safety Department um, implemented Nixle. It's a one-way communication with our citizens to push out messages that we feel that are relevant to the community, either pre-event, current event, or post-event. Um, we have actually several hundred people who have signed up in the last couple weeks. And this is a perfect example where the commission has uh, rescinded a parking order that was put out last November. We'd like to get it to the public, and um, besides for the newspaper, the radio stations and television stations like we normally do. This is one way where it will come directly to your email or to your telephone by text uh, the message that we send out. And over the last couple of weeks, we've sent out a couple of advisories and some community messages. But normally, turn this off here. Normally, we can um, send out an alert, an advisory, or a community message that the community can get either real time. Or sometimes they get it after event. Like I said, it's either pre, current, or after the event. So if you go on to nixel.com, 
you can sign up for the city of Muskegon, and uh, that way you can get those messages. Spelling. And the spelling is n i x l e dot com. And that will take care of that. And also, um, the mayor brought up a good point the other day where he was getting messages from other communities because when you sign up for the Muskegon area, sometimes you can get them from other uh, municipalities that you really don't wish to get them from. Under your profile, when you sign up, you can deselect those and get the ones you want. If you want just Muskegon or Muskegon County or what other um, municipality has those, you can pick what you want. Is that covered? Yeah. Thank you very much. Any other business commissioners? Is there anyone in the audience that would care to address the commission tonight? <coughs> Hello, my name is Shanti Davey and I'm from 4380 Hackley Point Lane, Norton Shores. And um, I know this isn't on the agenda tonight, but I'm gonna be coming down here to every city council meeting and reminding you that the community really cares about what's happening with SAPI and we um, want to have it cleaned up out there we don't want we, we really do we were so encouraged by the city planning meeting where the uh, Bill Larson spoke about this being a hundred year decision and how important it was to you know s stick with our city plan and um, I just want to say that I really want to stick with that city plan and find a way I think we're creative enough to find a way to do it that everybody can win, including Mr. Melching. Maybe not Sampy, but <laughs> but they should be responsible for leaving a mess here. So um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Dan Mills and uh 1817 Mills Avenue in North Muskegon. Yep. Named after the family? What's that? Was, was the street named after your family? I, it's spooky, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. My wife is especially haunted. It's her place. I uh, <laughs> moved in with her. So, anyway, here, I, uh, you know, I'm 100% in favor of like what Shanti was saying and, you know, cleaning up the property and stuff like that. But the thing, the point that I'd like to make uh, really, really emphasize is that just taking somebody's word for it isn't good enough for me that I always insist myself on seeing documentation and uh, in line with that here. In the last few weeks, you know, I was pounding around like the county building. I told you that and uh, talked with, uh, you know, Vicki Webster over there at the DEQ, and she says that she's been looking for stuff for years and years. And so I started looking around here in the city, and, you know, everybody's pointing me to the manager's office or this place or the other place. And so I did. I spent a, an hour, I think, up and down and all around here and finally ended up down in a desk where I fill out a Freedom of Information Act form. And I've done these before, uh, freedom of information, right? And so, uh, you know, I've had good experiences with these. Vicki had me fill out the form, and she produced the empty file right as soon as I got done signing it. Uh, the county building several years ago, they charged, uh, they waited until my attorney came because they just ignored the two-week deadline until the attorney came. And then they charged me $150 times three while people stood around and charged me $4 a page to copy. Now let's talk about the present. At the legal limit, I got this in the mail. It says uh, that it's going to cost $300 to produce photocopies of the documents that are requested, but it doesn't say what they are, and they want $150 up front. And again, no list of what's there. Maybe nothing, but $150 is what it's going to cost me to find out freedom of information. We keep hearing about things about this property. I'd like to see some documentation. I don't want to have to cough up $300 to find out. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else that would care to address the commission? I see Kathy Brubaker Clark's getting ready to leave, and so I just want to let Kathy know that we want to wish you a happy birthday. Yeah. We won't sing to you tonight because it's not officially your birthday, so. But uh, if you see Kathy in the next week, make certain that you say happy birthday to Kathy Brubaker Clark. <laughs> With, and unless, Mohammed, would you like to say happy birthday to you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> well, Anne enjoyed it so much, we thought it was only fair to share it with you. We're in a club together. 
Uh, Commissioner Spataro. I would uh, move that uh, we go into closed session to discuss attorney client information. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Gowan, supported, pardon me, by Commissioner Spataro, supported by Vice Mayor Gowan, to go into closed session to discuss attorney client information. Roll call, please. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Commissioner Turnquist? Yes. Mayor Warmington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Commissioner Spataro? Yes. Commissioner German? Yes. Vice Mayor Galrin? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge that Commissioner Longmire from the county, our county commissioner, is here this evening. Thank you, Commissioner. See you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>